Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today we got another build video for you. Normally I do a build out video where I talk about the components that are going into a build, and then we do part two. Well, we've skipped part one because this was kind of built from spare parts I've had around the shop and some used parts, and so um, I went ahead and built it. It's actually been kind of in the process of being built. I just kind of, as I have a little bit of time, spend some time getting it built. So what do we have here? This is the Lumineer QAV210, the Charpu edition. And this is a great frame. It's been around quite a while as far as um, in quadcopter years, but um, it's still a good frame, nice and light and um, a well-built frame. So let's get real quick, let's get some measurements of it. Okay, so right at 312 grams, all up minus battery, which is which is respect respectable, um, and pretty much what I would expect from something that's you know as small as a 210, and then right at three millimeter for the bottom plate. It's all our you know it's all a unibody design, and this should be. Yeah, one, you can know, see if you can see that. There we go, right at 1.5 on the top plate. Um, they're all the same, um, all, you know, um, they are fairly durable for being a three millimeter. Um, Lumineer makes a good frame, and so um, we've I've had really good luck with these, and you can get these on the cheap now especially. Um, let's get into some of the components. So the first one here is the ESCs. These are the Speedix ES20s. Now, they're not the Spidex, which is another company that makes FPV gear. This is the Speedex ES20, BL Heli S ESCs. Absolutely love these. Super tiny. Um, let's see how wide those are. Let's see. Yeah, right at 12 millimeter. Um, and then the motors, you know, these are my favorite on the cheap motors. These are the Hyperlite V2s, 2205, 2600 KV motors. Um, right now, uh, Pyroflip RC has them for $12.99. And once they're gone, these are gone for good because they are now moved on to the V3s. And the company that makes these, it are, also makes V3s for under different brands. Um, no longer make the 2205s, which is the V2s, and the V3s are 2206. So um, these are really good motors. Used to be $22, and like I said, they're $12.99 right now. So if you're looking for an inexpensive motor that's really efficient, nice and light, this is this is the way to go, in my opinion. Uh, camera, standard uh, Foxeer 1200 TVL camera. Um, really nice, great for the Dominator V3s, which is what I what I uh, fly with, which is a 16 by 9 ratio, and that's what the 12 by 1200 TVL ca uh, camera is as well. Got it sporting a 2.5 lens on there. Um, these props are the Racecraft 5051s, and they are just oh, sorry about that. They are just absolutely fantastic they make a nice i don't know if you can hear that that's well we're not going to try it um the um the antenna is a tbs triumph 5.8 antenna fr sky x4r receiver um standard xt60 pdb and running a lux flight controller that's a Lumineer Lux flight controller already had that one used laying around so I thought this would be a perfect place to use it and then the VTX is a 600 milliwatt Fox ear VTX this is going to be one that I'm just going to have fun with so it's thought I put something that's got a little more power and I had it. it was another piece that I had used laying around here so all in all, really a standard, standard um, frame. Um, nothing to write home about. You know, it's not the newest of the new. You know, these motors, these 2205s, everything now is pretty much 2206. Um, these are these are really um, the most recent thing. These and this and the antenna. 
um, these ESCs running BL Heli S and absolutely love it. Um, but you know, this frame, I took it out today and flew it and is a little windy, but my gosh, it's just such a great, great layout and it just works. And so if you got some parts laying around, don't be afraid to put them to good use. Don't be afraid to use a frame that may be a few generations old. You know, we can still have some fun with them. So hope you guys are getting something out of these videos. And I hope you have some time to fly and check out my website, xframesfpv.com.